Hey y'all, it is Kanika with Tidy by K popping in with another video. So today we're talking about why your home is a complete mess, but with tangible tips and tricks and things that you can implement really right now to make your home more manageable for you. Now, before I dive in, if you're wondering why I feel confident in talking about home organization, I am a professional organizer. I launched my own organizing business, Tidy by K back in 2019 and i at this point have serviced hundreds of clients i have been in hundreds of homes and so i know a thing or two about keeping a tidy home and helping clients create homes that are tidy organized functional beautiful all of the things so if you are trying to make your home not be as stressful as it is or as chaotic or unorganized all of the things this is going to be the video for you now i will say i truly have never struggled with organization right as a kid i've always been organized i like tidying up i like the folding i like reorganizing my closet like i never truly had a problem with organizing however i do recognize that tons of people just truly struggle with organizing but the beauty here is that organization is a skill. It is a learnable skill, meaning if you just dedicate your time, your effort, your energy to learning to be more organized, it can happen and it will happen if you dedicate yourself to getting it done. So if you currently are like, my house is a mess, Kanika, it is a mess you can fix it okay you can fix it i promise you now i know i mentioned i work with clients all the time to organize their home and some of the common themes that i see particularly with the women who kind of reach out for services is that they truly are just overwhelmed with the state of their home right there's too much stuff they are you know always looking for something they're always kind of just overwhelmed or stressed out about the state of their home they feel like no one else is really helping to keep the home whether it's their spouse or their kids or they have family members living with them they feel like the burden is on them to kind of maintain the home and it just you know things just kind of get lost in the sauce and so if that kind of feels like you or maybe you live alone and you're just like I just can't keep up with the keep up and my home just stresses me out because there are no systems there's no structure there's too much stuff then this is going to be the video for you okay so let's go ahead and dive into really why your home is a mess the top thing honestly you guys is because you just have too much stuff typically when i go into my client spaces and i am you know tasked with creating functional systems that also feel nice that look nice that are functional that are practical they just typically have too much stuff and so i'm going to go on a gander here and say that you probably have too much stuff and so that's going to be the very first focus that i want you to task yourself with decluttering editing purging paring down letting go whatever term you want to put in there that is what you have to focus on you have to focus on creating space now when i say decluttering sometimes people completely panic right they spent money on this thing they have cool memories from this thing so and so gave it to them they just can't let it go and so when you kind of frame or reframe your thinking to say okay i am creating space for the things that truly need to be in the home that truly are intentional it makes it a little bit easier to part ways with things that are truly not serving you or serving the space and so that's kind of how i want you to reframe your thinking when you're thinking about decluttering you are creating space for the things that you love use and need right if the things that you have in your home don't really fit in those buckets it has to go and that is just the rule that you are going to establish for yourself so that you can again focus on creating space when you have less items that means you have less things that you need to tend to less things that you need to tidy up less things that you need to be concerned about and so really that's going to be the focus when you are focusing on creating a space or home that does not always feel messy that can be tidy very quickly that you can kind of reset to like a a very easy baseline within 15 20 30 minutes right and so that is going to be the goal the second common theme that i notice amongst my clients and then i'm sure probably you as well when you're kind of thinking about man my home is just always messy is that you are lacking the structure and the system 
systems that you need to thrive, right? And so when you're focusing on creating organizing solutions or home organizing solutions in your home, they need to fall within three principles. Is it functional, right? Are the systems that you have or that you're trying to create, are they functional? One. Two, is it practical? And then the third thing is, is it accessible? So for instance, when you're thinking about a functional, a practical, and an accessible system, all three of those components or principles need to exist for you to truly say that a space is organized, right? And so if I'm thinking about like my drawers in my bedroom, right? I have my um, underwear, I have my sports bras, I have my socks, I have folded shirts, I have my scarves, and I have like some folded leggings, pants, shorts, and things like that, right? And so I've created a very structured system that allow ease of function, ease of access, and it is very practical in terms of me accessing and pulling out the things that I am needing. And so when I recognize that my space or my drawers are harder for me to maintain or harder for me to um, access or they're not as practical um, in terms of day-to-day -day living for me, it's probably because I have added too many things in the space without decluttering. And so that's just a very simple example that I can offer you right now that is showing you that, hey, listen, your systems that you create, they have to make it easy for you to function in. They have to be extremely practical, right? You don't want any hard solutions. You don't want anything that makes you have to think too hard about accessing things or putting things back. And again, it has to be accessible. Those are going to be the three principles literally for any space that you are trying to organize. And so as you're trying to create systems in your home, make sure that you have that checklist. Does it function the way you need it to function? Does it operate easily, right? Is it practical? Does it already go with the flow of your day-to-day -day routine? And is it accessible? Is it gonna be easy for you to grab something or for you to put something back? And then the third common theme that I see for my clients and I'm sure for you as well is that people just kind of have counterproductive habits, right? You are doing things that really don't lend itself to living in a tidy and organized home and so that is going to be the third thing that I want you to focus on. Creating or establishing some daily routines, your morning routine and your evening routine, right? What daily routines can you establish for yourself that are going to be productive in creating a home that is not messy and creating a home that allows you to kind of reset and get to baseline fairly quickly, right? And so when you're thinking about a morning routine, are you tidying up your kitchen every single day before you go into work? Are you, you know, cleaning off your bathroom counters, wiping off your bathroom counters after you've done your makeup for the day? Are you tidying your bed before you leave out for the workday, right? Establishing a solid morning routine is going to help you live into that more organized space that you are desiring to live into, right? And the same thing for that evening routine. Are you tidying up the kitchen before you go to bed? Are you cleaning up the living room? Are you folding your blankets and putting them on the blanket ladder or dropping them in a basket? So just establishing evening routines or daily routines on an overall basis is going to help you create a more organized living environment that just feels good. And y'all, if you are like, but nobody else is gonna help me, I want you to be the trendsetter. I want you to lead by example. And I want you to set a timer for everyone to be involved in this process or in this routine, right? Set a timer for 15, 20 minutes max at the end of the day to reset the space, to reset the spaces, to tidy up, to clean, to organize, so that when you wake up the next day, you're not kind of already starting off on a bad foot because the space wasn't tidied up the night before. And so again, you don't have to do that yourself. Bring everyone else on board. Let everybody know this is what we're doing for the next 15, 20 minutes. We are resetting, we are tidying up. We got a timer going. We only need to go for 15 minutes and that is it, right? These small changes, they may seem like, Kanika, what is, what is 15 minutes gonna do? But I kid you not, these are small changes, small habits that will result in big wins later on, you know, six months, 12 months down the line when you are looking around and you're recognizing that, yo, like, my house is actually tidy or even if it's not tidy in this moment, I know that if I set a timer for 15, 20 minutes, it could literally be tidy and back to baseline. And that is the goal. The goal is not to have a fully organized home um, in the matter of a day or two days, especially if your home is currently overwhelmingly cluttered or disorganized. The goal is to kind of reset, 
the way that you are living at home, reset some of your habits so that you can create a more livable environment that feels good and feels appeasing to you. So that is really the focus. Again, when I am working with clients, these are the top common themes that I am seeing that are kind of like to their pitfall. But with all of these, they're very tangible things that you can do to kind of reroute or circumvent some of those things. Now, if the decluttering part of this kind of stresses you out, don't fret i do have a power of 30 decluttering guide this is my 30 minute guide that literally walks you through decluttering literally any space in your home and all you need is 30 minutes a day so put on your little podcast put on your favorite youtube video whatever the case set your timer and literally declutter following the guide and that's going to help you kind of create more space in your home and allow you to get to steps two and three, which again are creating those systems that actually make sense and then readjusting your habits by establishing powerful daily routines that make sense for creating a house that is not as disorganized and messy. All right, beautiful people, I hope this video was helpful. Again, I truly understand the desire for having an organized home, but I also understand some of the pitfalls or some of the areas that people kind of struggle with as it pertains to creating that organized space that they truly want for their home. So hopefully this video served you well. Um, do me a solid. Go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful. And then also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video. And then before you dip out, I want you to drop in the comments which one of these are your biggest downfall. Is it the fact that you have too much stuff? Is it the fact that you kind of lack the structure and the systems? Or is it your counterproductive habits and the fact that you don't have solid daily routines? I'm curious to know because I would love to create another video that kind of serves you in the area that you are currently stuck in. All right, beautiful people. That's all I got for this video. But I will see you guys next week. All right, y'all. Peace.